Welcome back, everybody. We're talking with former FBI Director James Comey about his new book, A Higher Loyalty. Now, before the break, I, I, was, I was asking about how people reacted to um, the two different actions you decided to take uh, with regards to the investigation of Hillary Clinton's um, email servers, her use of a private email server, um, and whether or not classified information had been shared illegally and, and in any way security had been compromised. Um, the first thing you did was hold a, uh, a, I wouldn't call it a press conference, but did you take questions? No. Okay. So you went out and, and you made an announcement yourself as the head of the at FBI saying that you had done an investigation and you found no grounds to prosecute Hillary Clinton, but that she had been extremely reckless, I believe careless. is the term. Yeah. Care, extremely careless. Um, why did you do that? And why didn't you tell... Loretta Lynch and the Justice Department, you were going to do that because no FBI director had ever done that before. Right, right. Because it was the least worst way to close the investigation and maintain public confidence that it was done in a, in a competent, honest, independent way. What do you mean, least worst? Well, there were a number of different ways to approach the end of that. The normal thing would have been we'd send the, essentially the substance of what I announced, we'd send it over to the Justice Department and they would issue some sort of one-liner saying the matter is closed. My judgment, which reasonable people can disagree about, was that that would be disastrous for the Department of Justice because there were a number of things that had happened leading up to the end of the investigation, the, the most important at the end being that the Attorney General announced she was not going to recuse herself after her meeting with Bill Clinton on an airplane, but she was going to accept my recommendation and that of the career prosecutors. And so my judgment was the public faith in the FBI and the Justice Department is all we have. If we do the normal thing, corrosive doubt will creep in about whether it was done by the Obama Justice Department in a competent, honest, and independent way. And I thought, if I make my announcement separate, it will maximize the chances that people have confidence in the result rather than going, I, I really like Loretta Lynch and respect her, but to an attorney general who reasonable people could see as compromised in that situation. And so I made that judgment, something very unusual. I'd never heard of it before, but I'd never heard of the FBI investigating one of the two candidates for president of the United States during the election year, and decided that was the best chance we had of closing it in a credible way. What was the consideration to uh, telling Congress, sending a letter to Congress, saying that you were reopening the investigation into Hillary Clinton's uh, emails after Anthony Weiner's laptop was found to have uh, 100,000 emails on it, what was that? What was the rationale there? Because the again, the norm of the standard was that the uh, FBI does not discuss anything having to do with a political campaign 60 days out from the election. Yeah, that's not true, though. It's the, not the, the 60 day thing. I don't know where that comes from, but there's a really important norm that I believe in entirely. You take no action if you can avoid it that might have an impact on the and on any election, dog catcher to president of the United States. Well, you had to imagine this was going to have. Oh, an absolutely, effect. absolutely. Which is why, when the team told me there are hundreds of thousands of Hillary Clinton's emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop for reasons I couldn't possibly explain at the time. I, I can explain it. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but not just that. This is uh, something folks often miss. They said there's thousands of emails from her blackberry.net domain, which is what she used her first three months as Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. And you'll remember that the reason there was no case there was there was no evidence of, of wrongful intent on her part. May have, she was sloppy, but there's no evidence she knew she was doing something she shouldn't. Unlike Petraeus, say, Correct. who gave up classified notebooks to his lover and allowed her to take photographs of them in, you know, in a state of mortal sin in that he knew what he was doing. Was right, wrong. and then he lied about it, which made clear he knew what he was doing. He was the director of the CIA, for heaven's sakes. Mm -hmm. She looked like someone who wasn't attentive to security, didn't know technology well. But if there was going to be a smoking gun where someone said, hey, you can't do this, mm -hmm. or you ought to stop doing what you're doing, it would be in the beginning. So the team said to me on October 27th, there are hundreds of thousands of her emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop, and there are thousands of emails from the missing blackberry.net domain. This could change the outcome of the investigation. And so at that point, what do you do? Take no action if you can avoid it. And I kept looking for a door that said no action here, and I couldn't find it. I can only see two doors, and they're both actions. One says speak, the other says conceal. Speaking would be really bad. Well, conceal naturally has a pejorative to it. It's speak or, or 
uh, standard discretion of the FBI. It's not the same thing as concealing. Yeah, I disagree, though. If we hadn't spoken, Loretta Lynch and I had not announced to the American people in testimony during the summer and in my statement and other things, we're done, you can move on here, American people, there's no there there. If that hadn't happened, sure, you'd have the option of saying, nobody knows about this, so we'll keep it quiet. But having spoken repeatedly, my view, and people can disagree about this, would be that to not speak would be an affirmative act of concealment. I knew that something we had told the American people they could rely upon was not true, and not true in a huge way, not some silly way, hundreds of thousands of emails on Anthony Weiner's computer, and the FBI team said, no way, boss, we can review this before the election. So what do you do? Speaking would be really bad. Concealing would be catastrophic. In my judgment, again, people can see it differently. So as between really bad and catastrophic, it's not that hard to call. You've got to do the really bad thing. Well, one is bad immediately. One is possibly bad later which sounds like Pascal's wager to me. So you were weighing a certainty that it's bad now with maybe people would be upset later. Well, I, I didn't see it as a maybe. Well, I, let, let me ask you another question. I, we, got, we got to take a little commercial break here, but let me ask you this. My wife called me the minute that this came out, that you were announcing that you were reopening the investigation. You sent the letter to Congress. Congress leaked it. We know. 11 days out. She called me and said, that's it. It's over. Her campaign's dead. And I said, no, 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 it's going to be fine. This isn't going to have an effect. Which of us do you think was right? I honestly don't know. I pray that you're right. It makes me sick to my stomach to think we might have had an impact. I hope and pray we didn't. But I hope this doesn't sound strange. It, it wouldn't change the decision. If you travel back to October 28th, you can't see the future. What do you do? And... You get back in the time machine, go yeah, back yeah. another 70 years yeah. and kill baby Hitler. But yeah. then, <laughs> then you come back to October and you don't release the emails. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, we, we got to take a little break. Um, when we come back, I want to talk about uh, Russia and uh, the president asking you about the PP tape. When you, when, you, when you telling him about it and him talking to you about that, all right? Can we do that? You can call it that. <laughs> I will. We'll be right back with more James Comey.